Friday. So the Torah reading this week was 3820 to 4038. We're up to chapter 40. If you want to open up your scriptures and read along with us, we're up to chapter 40. We last saw in chapter 39, all the work being done for the tabernacle, the spices, the altar, the gold, and everything being put in its place. And now we read chapter 40 that says, and Yah spoke to Moses saying, on the first day of the month, on the first of the month, you shall raise up the tent of the tabernacle of the congregation, and you shall put there the ark of testimonial, and you shall cover the ark with the veil, and you shall bring in the table and set it in order. It's arrangement, and you shall bring in the menorah and set its lamps. And you shall put the altar of gold for incense before the ark of the testimony. And you shall set up the screen of the door of the tabernacle. And you shall set up the altar of burnt offerings before the door of the tent of the tabernacle of the congregation. You shall put the lever between the tabernacle of the congregation and the altar. And you shall put water there and you shall set the court all around, and you shall place the screen of the opening of the court, and you shall take the oil of the anointing, and you shall anoint the tabernacle and all that is in it, and you shall sanctify it, all its vessels, and it shall become holy, and it shall anoint the altar of the burnt offering and its vessels and you shall sanctify it, and the altar shall become most holy. And you shall anoint the lever and its base, and you shall sanctify it, and you shall cause to draw near Aaron and his sons to the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, and you shall wash them with water. And you shall clothe Aaron with the holy garments, and you shall anoint him and sanctify him, and he shall serve me as priest. And you shall cause his sons to draw near, and you shall clothe them with tunics, and you shall anoint them as you anoint their father, and they shall serve as priest to me. And their anointing shall be for the everlasting priesthood for their generation. In verse 16, so Moses did according to all that Yah commanded him. So he did it to all that Yah commanded him. Verse 17, and it happened on the first month in the second year. On the first of the month, the tabernacle was raised up. And Moses raised up the tabernacle and he gave its sockets and he set its boards and he gave its bars, and he raised up its pillars. And he spread out the tent over the tabernacle, and he put the cover of the tent over it from above, as Yah had commanded Moses. And he took and gave the testimony into the ark, and he put the poles on the ark, and he gave the mercy seat on the ark from above. And Yah caused the ark to go in to the tabernacle. And he placed the veil of the covering, and he covered over the ark of testimonial, as Yah commanded Moses. And he gave the tabernacle unto, into the tabernacle of the congregation, and the site of the tabernacle northward outside the veil. And he set the bread in order on it before the face of Yah, as Yah commanded Moses. And he put the menorah in the tabernacle of the congregation opposite the table on the side of the tabernacle southward. And he set up the lamps before Yah, and as Yah had commanded Moses. And he set up the altar of gold in the tabernacle of the congregation before the veil. 
Verse 27, he burned the incense of fragrant spices as Yah had commanded Moses. And he set up the screen of the door to the tabernacle and he put the altar of burnt offering off uh, at, at the door of the tent of the tabernacle at the congregation. And he offered up the burnt offering and the food offering as Yah commanded Moses. And he put the laver between the tabernacle of the congregation and the altar. And he gave their water for washing. And from it, Moses and Aaron and his sons washed their hands and their feet. And they came into the tabernacle of the congregation as they drew near to the altar. They would wash as Yah commanded Moses. And he raised up the court all around the tabernacle, the altar. And he gave a screen of the opening of the court. And Moses finished work, the work. In verse 34, and the cloud covered the tabernacle of the congregation. And the glory of Yah filled the tabernacle. Wow. They built this out of nothing. Yah provided everything, including the instructions. And the glory of Yah filled the tabernacle. Wow. And Moses was not able to come into the tabernacle of the congregation because the cloud dwelt on it. And the glory of Yah filled the tabernacle. And as the cloud went up from the tabernacle, the sons of Israel pulled the stakes in their travels. And the, and the cloud did not go up. Then, And if the cloud did not go up, they did not pull up the stakes until the day it went up. For the cloud of Yah was in the tabernacle by day, and fire was on it by night, before the eyes of all the house of Israel in their pulling up of stakes. And we hear and see the glory of Yah. And we see the fire by night and the cloud by day. And we first see this appear with the Egyptians chasing them before the sea parted. And Yah separated the holy from the unholy, the clean from the unclean, as his glory appeared. And the angel and messenger of Yah came between the two. And they built this tabernacle for a place for Yah to dwell. That is the end of the Torah reading for this coming Shabbat. Uh, again, it was uh, Exodus. And it's also the end of the book of Exodus as we get into the book of Leviticus. Everything is set for now for the book of Leviticus. So 3821 to 4038 is what we had read these last couple of days. I pray we continue to Think about the things we read and focus on them in Yeshua's name. Thank you, Father. Please bless our day. Help us to glorify you in the name of Yeshua. Hallelujah, everybody. Thank you for your prayers for this ministry and shalom, shalom.